Hi guys, how is everybody out there doing today? I'm back with another message, another uplifting, positive message. I just want to be real. I woke up this morning just not in the right mood. I don't know. I just woke up feeling down. It must be something in the air or I don't know what it is. I just woke up this morning and I just wasn't feeling my happy, positive self. And I just started thinking, I was like, what if our life is predestined? What if we're living out our karmic debt? We're living a life that is already planned for us. And it doesn't matter what we do. Doesn't matter what we say. Doesn't matter how much rituals, how much candle we burn, how much we go out, go out in nature. It doesn't matter. It's just our life is predestined and we have to live it out, either good or bad. And I was like, you know what? Stop thinking like that because then you get yourself in this down mood and I started thinking, no, that's impossible. There are people out there that have gone through far much worse than all of us and have come through and turned their life around and some use it by positive thinking, law of attraction, ritual, whatever it is that they use. They have uplifted their life, uplifted themselves, and gotten out of any situation that they felt wasn't the right one for them. So I'm here to let you guys know, I'm not going to show cold things on this channel. There are days that we're going to wake up and just not feel like doing anything. There are days going to wake up and feel like, why the hell am I here? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why am I going through this? And I'm here to let you know, sometimes we go through things to teach us a lesson. Sometimes it's car karma. Sometimes the things that we haven't dealt with from the past or past life. And we have to go through it until we learn that lesson. Sometimes it's not pretty. Okay. It's just not pretty. Sometimes it gets us in the most darkest mood ever. And we need to uplift ourselves out of that mood because sometimes the darkest mood, you go deeper and deeper and deeper until you can't dig yourself out of it. So if you're at a point where you feel like, I'm at my darkest mood, Sometimes you got to force yourself out of that darkest mood. You got to force yourself out of that bed. You got to self-talk yourself out of it. All right? You got to just self-talk yourself out of it. If you have friends or family that are close to you and are there to uplift you and guide you, props to you. There are others out there that don't have friends, that don't have family that understands what they're going through. And what you're going through shouldn't be overlooked. And sometimes friends and family overlooked what you're going through as nothing. Like, oh, all right, come on, man. You, you get yourself out of it. Just get out of bed. You know, it's no big deal. But to you, it's a big deal. But to others, it's not a big deal. Surround yourself with others that know what you're going through and have been through what you are going through. I believe... In life, you have yourself, all right? People could give you advice and could be there for you to a certain extent, but overall, all you have is yourself. You got to be yourself best friend. You got to love yourself. You got to know how to talk to yourself. And self-talk is the most important thing. If you're feeling down today, you just don't feel like doing anything, don't force yourself. There's nothing written in the stars that you have to do have to do certain things. If you're not in a mood, take care of yourself. Self-love on yourself. Give yourself that pet talk. Positive thoughts about yourself. Think about all the good things about yourself. Think about, you know what? Last year 
or the day before or last week, I overcome this, I got out of bed, I took a shower. These are things that you should give yourself self-praise for because there's others out there that can't even walk to the washroom by themselves or take a bath by themselves or a shower. So these are things that you can do on your own. Find the smallest things in the biggest chaos that you feel right now, the biggest chaos in your life, find the smallest things to be grateful for. And that's what I did this morning. I praised myself for getting out of that bed. I praised myself to actually making this video because sometimes I feel I don't even want to be on this camera. And are others actually listening to me? Am I, is my message actually getting across or I'm just here just doing this? But you know what? I'm not doing this for others. I'm doing it for myself as well. Because I could replay this message to myself when I'm just not in the mood, all right? And say, hey, you did it. You got on that camera and you expressed yourself and you did it. So those things are milestone. And congratulate yourself for the little things, all right? Don't pay attention to the big things. Congratulate yourself for the smallest, th smallest things. Even making breakfast for yourself is the smallest things. Even washing the dishes is the smallest things. Congratulate yourself for the smallest things. And I, when I was thinking, like, you know, if my life is predestined, our life predestined for us to go through things, no matter how hard you try to get out of it, you know, is your life predestined? I'm like, hell no. Hell no. Is our feelings, our thoughts, and our environment that predicts our life? We could grow up in an environment which is toxic, toxic parents, because you do have toxic parents out there, and toxic friends, and it's just a toxic environment overall. And there are people that overcome that. So if you're going through anything right now in your life that is toxic, you could overcome it. You just got to self-praise yourself. Give yourself that small talk. Self-praise yourself and be grateful for the most smallest things in your life. And don't dwell on what's not going right. Dwell on, you know what? I woke up this morning. I had breakfast. I at least had breakfast, I had food in the fridge, and these are things to be grateful for, and these are the smallest things to congratulate yourself on. I hope this do help somebody out there, because I'm telling you this morning, I wasn't feeling it. I just woke up, and I was just like, man, why am I here? Why am I going through certain lessons in my life over and over and over? What it is that you're trying to teach me? I'm tired of these lessons. I want to move on. I'm tired of it. But then I remember, nothing lasts forever. Things are only temporary. We're only here temporary. And all what is around us is just an illusion. So if I take things too serious and let it get, get me down, and it's only temporary, that I'm here for, it's not worth it. So I might as well just put a smile on my face, be grateful for the smallest things, and move on. Anyhow, let's get to this message, what it says. It says, go way out. Think beyond your present dreams to the dreams that you would dream once these have already come true. And when you can clearly see how confident you will walk and how proud you will feel, start walking and feeling like that today. It's funny because the most beautiful message comes in the most chaotic time. Teaching us to dream beyond our wildest dream and already start to feel like our dreams have already come true. Don't wait until something has happened for you to feel happy. Start feeling happy now. And I keep telling myself that. Don't wait until something that you want to manifest has, has already manifested. And then you're happy about it. Start to feel happy now in the most smallest things in your life. Because once you start to feel happy now, 
there be more things for you to be, feel happy for. Little by little, life will present to you smallest things and then big things will, will just present itself for you to be happy. Don't base your happiness on what is in front of you right now. All right? Based it on how you feel. Based on how whatever it is that you want to manifest, how would you feel? Embrace in that feeling right now. Don't worry about what is around you right now because sometimes that could bring you down. Worry about how would you feel once you have what you most desired and embrace in that feeling. Carry that feeling with you. I know it's easier said than done, but it takes baby steps, okay? Baby steps. Just imagine. I like to daydream. I like to imagine. I'm one of those person that I don't learn or feel something unless I can imagine it or it's right in front of my face. But I could just spend the whole day just imagining things in my life. So imagine things in your life. Invent stories in your head. It may seem silly. Trust me, it may seem silly, but it helps. Invent stories in your head. Invent yourself where will you be in the next two years from now or tomorrow. Invent these small stories in your head. It will put a smile on your face because you know what? You're pitching yourself somewhere else. These things work. Just imagine yourself elsewhere, on a beach, in your beach house. How would you feel? That sand on your feet, the sun, the beautiful sun against your skin. Imagine all these things. Even thinking about the sun right now on my beautiful skin it makes me feel so warm, I feel so happy. Think these thoughts and imagine these things and just continue imagining them. All right? No one understands your struggle. Nobody understands what you're going through. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm not going to say it's going to happen today or tomorrow. But you got to just keep on pushing and keep on going. All right? Keep on doing it. Because there is eventually a light at the end of the tunnel. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this message do come across to somebody out there. I felt good doing this message because it has healed me in a certain extent. It has let go, I guess, the negative energy I woke up with this morning. I've let it go in a sense. Just being here and just talking to you guys, it helped so I really love you guys. And remember, love is, it is a powerful vibration. We have to really learn how to love ourselves. To really, really love ourselves. All right? Nobody could love you as much as you could love yourself. And once you learn how to love yourself, you're able to love others. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another uplifting message. Love you guys for now. Bye.